Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my February 2015 empties video and I am going to start with the products that I finished for my Finish 7 by Spring Challenge. And those are um, the Pixie Flawless Beauty Primer, which is this product right here. I received it in an Ipsy bag and it had a little bit of sparkle to it. So I don't think I would repurchase this. I don't really feel like it did anything to help my makeup application go on any better either. The next product is this NYX Love and Rio Trio. And I'm only, I used the center shade. That was the one I was working on. And um, it was kind of like a champagne color. And it was okay, but I have so many eyeshadows that I would not repurchase this again. The next product is the Revlon Lip Butter in the shade Peach Parfait, number 025. And this is All Gone, my very first lipstick. And that was the shade right here. I can still kind of swatch it. So that's what the shade looked like. Just a really nice um, peachy pink color or whatever. And um, I wouldn't repurchase it. I didn't mind it, you know, when it was first on. But as the day wore on, I feel like it just left all the little glitter particles on my lips with no color and it just didn't look very good and I don't really retouch during the day so once it's gone it's gone and I don't want to be left looking like a glitter ball um, at work. The last product in my Finish 7 by Spring was the Antibacterial um, Moisturizing Hand Lotion by Bath & Body Works in the scent Midnight Pomegranate. Um, I've had this for years and years, probably longer than I should have kept it and I'm just so happy that it's done. I didn't really care for the scent very much. I thought the um, Midnight Pomegranate was actually kind of masculine so I would not repurchase this and they might not even make it anymore because this product is so old. Moving on to the other products that I finished this month. I don't normally include samples but um, I want to talk about this for a sec. It's the NARS um, Matte Foundation and I just got this little sample from Sephora. It actually lasted quite a while. Um, it was in the shade Stromboli. Um, I think it was supposed to be a matte finish and it did leave me matte, but I don't know if I would actually purchase this. Um, I still felt like right around my T-zone and stuff like that, which is where I get oily about midway through the day, that it's still, I was still really oily and stuff like that. Even if I set it with a powder, it didn't really matter. So I think I'm still on the quest to find my Holy Grail foundation. Um, the next product I finished was the um, Lights Camera Splashes Mascara by Tarte. This was just a sample size. I purchased this um, in a kit um, over the summer. It came with a few other things um, and I purchased it at Ulta. Um, this is the first mascara that I actually had a feeling about, I guess. So I've been using quite a few different mascaras and I just used them. I didn't really think anything of them. There were some that flaked a little so I really didn't like that. But this is the first one that I actually liked. Um, it is the waterproof formula and I don't know if that's what makes the difference or not to me. Um, but I felt like it actually, you know, volumized my lashes. It defined them really quite nicely and it gave a little bit of length too, which I really liked. So I would consider purchasing this. The full size I think is probably $20 or so. So that's kind of hard to swallow. But if it was on sale or something and I could get it at Sephora or Ulta, then I would definitely consider it. Right now I have too many mascaras though, so I'm not in the market to purchase any. Uh, um, the next product I finished was this um, Rise by Beyonce perfume. So it was just a little sample. I got this from pinchme.com, which is a uh, free website and which is a website um, and you just sign up. It's free and you can select samples. I think it's on Tuesdays at noon Eastern time every once in a while or something like that and you can get a few samples for free. I didn't mind the perfume. It was okay. It wasn't something I would go out of my way to purchase, especially because I have so many. Um, but the bad thing about this is the stopper. I was trying to close the stopper and I stupidly was putting on lotion before I put on my perfume. My hands were slippery and the whole thing just slid off the table you know, as I was trying to put on the stopper and fell on the floor and the perfume spilled and it was not great. I used up about at least half to three quarters of it so it's not that I lost a ton of product. It's just it was a pain and I was worried that it broke which thank gosh it didn't but it was just it's not worth the hassle. I much prefer the ones with the little um, sprayer on them versus these um, 
stoppers. It's just the next product I finished was this um, Nug face mask. This oh. the next product I finished was this Nug face mask in so with soothing shea butter and chamomile extract. It's supposed to help calm, balance, and hydrate troubled or sensitive skin. And this is what the packaging looks like. I got this um, in a birch box a few months back, and I didn't really like it. It it does say that it has um, like the shea butter and there's oil dispersion technology in it. It smelled really oily to me. I did feel like when I put it on, it was, um, it, it did feel like soothing, but it was so slimy. And then to wash it off after was just gross. It did not feel good washing it off. So I would not repurchase this, but I am glad that I got to try it in my birch box because a product like this, you know, with like little cute packaging and stuff is something I totally would have picked up. Um, if I saw it, I think these are sold at Target. I've seen them there before, and that's something that I would have picked up. Next product, I think I'm actually going to throw it away. It is by Clinique, and it is the um, Transparency, it's in the shade Transparency Neutral, and it's a blended face powder, um, and I have had this for longer than I actually want to admit, and it smells old so I think it's just time for it to go. The product itself was okay. I have a few different face powders that I want to try out before I actually settle on anything um, as like a permanent product in my collection. These products are um, shower products. So I finished this full-size Aveeno hydrating body wash in the shade or in the scent fig and shea butter. So this is the product here. Um, I really liked this scent anytime, I actually got this at Costco, and they sold it in like a three pack, so anytime a Vino's at Costco, I always pick it up just because, um, the price is so much better than if you just purchase them at Target or whatever, and, um, I really like the scent, it doesn't irritate my skin at all, which sometimes I do find if I use things that are too heavily fragranced that they do, um, so I would definitely repurchase this, I think I have two or three different scents of this Vino body wash in my ridiculously large back stack of body washes. The next product I finished was the Clear Scalp and Hair Therapy Shampoo and I use this to clarify my um, hair once a week and I also received this in a pinch me um, order and I liked it. It smelled to me like old school herbal essence and I really liked that so I would definitely pick up this product. I'm pretty sure it's like a drugstore product um, that I could get at um, even like Target or Walmart or Myers or whatever. So, um, I would definitely purchase this again. Right now, it's the same thing with my body washes. I just have too many products of everything, so I'm not in the market to purchase anything. The next shampoo I finished was the Love Shampoo by Davines or Davines or whatever, um, from Birchbox. And this was the product right here. This was a really nice size sample. It was 2.5 ounces. And I, um... I liked the way this smelled. I thought it was really nice. It kind of did this weird thing in my hair where it was, it almost like made it knotty when I was using it or whatever, but I didn't mind the product. I think it is a little bit on the pricey side and I don't really care for that kind of thing as a shampoo, so I would not repurchase it. Um, the next product I finished was the Almay Oil-Free Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. And it looks like this. And I picked this up at Walgreens, and um, I liked it fine enough. If it did get in my eyes, though, it stung, and I had to run over to the sink and um, just, like, flush it out or whatever with water. Right now, I've just um, started using Bioderma, and I actually like that a lot better. Unfortunately, I purchased it in Paris, so I can't exactly run out to the store and get it. That does not sting my eyes, um, so I don't think I would repurchase the Almay brand. The next product I finished is the Mary Kay Timewise Day Solution Sunscreen with SPF 35. It's this product right here. And um, it was it was fine as a sunscreen, and I'm using another one right now. I'm not really too picky about my sunscreen, so I just use whatever's available. So I wouldn't go out of my way to repurchase this, but if I had it, I would use it. The next three products are hair care items. The first one is the Oribe Super Fine Hairspray. And I received this in a Pop Sugar Must Have box. This is the 2.2 fluid ounce size. And um, and I like the way it smelled. It was a little bit strong, but nothing too unbearable. Um, I only use hairspray if I have it. 
if I get it in a subscription box or something, I'll use it. But if I don't, then I don't go out of my way to buy it. So it was nice, but I think that size is like $22 and it's only 2.2 ounces. So, um, so I would not repurchase it. The next product I also received in a birch box, it's the Surge Normant Meta Revive Dry Conditioner with Nourishing Argon Oil. So I use this every time I dry shampoo my hair, which is about once a week. I don't really care for dry shampoo, so I wouldn't purchase a dry, sh or dry conditioner either. Um, it smelled nice, and I think it did make you know my hair softer, but I really don't like dry shampoo my hair that much, so I would not repurchase this dry, sh dry conditioner either. And last product is this um, Kerasis Salon Care Professional Moringa Miracle Essence. I got this in a Mimi box, which is a Korean um, beauty box, and that's the product right there. Um, this I use kind of like on the ends of my hair and like the lower half of it. Um, I would just use one pump on each side of my head, and um, it made my hair like really shiny, and it smelled nice but it's a Korean product, so I think there are products in the U.S. that we probably have that are um, similar in quality, and I don't want to, and I don't want to have to make an international order if I don't have to. So those are my empties for this month. I think I did pretty good. However, I'd like to see um, more makeup items in my empties, but anybody I think that's um, in the project panning community would like to see more makeup items in their empties. So I'm working on it. Um, this month I used, um, $34.15 worth of empties and as I've said before I kind of um, basis on what I paid for the products versus the retail value as I'd like to see the money that I'm actually getting back. I know everybody does it differently but that's just how I'm handling the situation. So for 2015 I have used $67.65 worth of products and I hope to see that number grow exponentially in the next 10 months. Um, as far as my spreadsheet and my beauty budget kind of goes, um, at the end of 2014, I had 680 items, and I now have 687 items on my spreadsheet. So I'm definitely still going in the wrong direction, even though I used up a ton of products, um, a bunch somehow still managed to find their way into my collection. So it's something I'm, I think I will be continually working on for this year and probably a few years to come, because old habits are hard to break. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.